Good morning, everyone, and welcome to the Stock Swoosh Show Market Review. I'm going to do a review here of the QQQs. I haven't done this for a few days, but obviously now the market is confirming that it's going to continue higher and make a new high. Really terrific show of strength in the market yesterday. And I didn't even think the market would hold as well as it did yesterday. I said there was a chance that it could. I thought the market would rest for a day before it's doing what it's doing right now, but it didn't. It didn't rest at all. And actually, the market's gapping up this morning. It's 7.30, and the uh, market could even make a new high here before the open. So last high was 97.51 here. We're at 97.31, 20 cents away from the high. So the market will make a new high. I don't know if it's going to be today or not. It depends how we act and trade into the open. This is a gap up today. It's a, it's a nice gap up. Uh, market is going to have to hold this gap up in order to make the new high. Either the market rallies very quickly over the high and pitters off today because it's a Friday in August, summer, or it comes in, holds in the first 30 to 60 minutes of the day, and then continues and actually closes strong, which is pretty much what we did yesterday. Except for actually, I think we made the low early yesterday. Let me just look back here. Yeah, we did. It was 9.45. 9.45 when we retested the low yesterday and held. Uh, and so either way, I've been saying all along that the market was going to make a new high. So whether we aggressively do that over the high today or it happens one day in the next week, it's going to happen. And you know, I mean, I did a bunch of videos in the last, you know, six weeks where I was saying to people, do not short this market. You can see here how evident it is that people shorted this market in here. There's a gap down here, a gap down here. People shorted this double top look here, the failure to go higher here to make a new high. The lower low and the lower high here brought in some shorting. And the same thing happened back here, where people actually shorted this area too. And even back here, I said the market's going to make a new high. It quickly did. And even all in here, I said the market's still going to make a new high. We're still strong. We're still holding the uptrend. This bearish gap that happened back here on July 31st did not change the trend of this market and was not going to signify any significant pull-in. And I really knew with 100% conviction that this market would hold down all the way down in here. And the QQQs, and this is nowhere near where we even are. And uh, so what a great sign of strength for this market to hold the way that it did yesterday. I mean, to hold the way that it did yesterday and gap up today, this is buying. This is real buying. And what a nice concentrated action here. Yesterday, the market actually held on the 8 period moving average in the 15-minute chart all day. All day. And here on the 5 and on the 2, let's look at the 1. Amazing. Beautiful. And this is why you have to learn how to trade trends. If you know how to trade the trend and read the trend, then you can make money trading the market. The problem is that a lot of people don't know how to read the trend. Or they guess what they think is going to be a correction or a reversal. When I trade, I don't guess. I read the gap. I rate the gap. I read the price. I do the analysis. I go through my 26-point system to determine what it's going to do, whether or not it's going to work or not in the direction of the gap. And then I make a prediction that it's going to do this. So I'm making a prediction based on analysis. It's not a guess. When people try to short tops like this in the market, they're guessing. When they short tops like this in the market, they're guessing. When they short a one lower high and one lower low or two lower highs or two lower lows, they're guessing. Uh, uh, pivots do not determine a trend. Boom, that's it. Okay. So beautiful gap up here in the market. Nice follow through. And I've been saying this in almost every video I've been doing in the market since, it, since I realized it, since I, since I know, okay, that the market is going to do something between now and the end of the year that is going to be a, a rally that is going to be greater, bigger, and more, more magnificent than anyone is predicting but me. So... You, you just watch out for it. The market is going to do some huge, massive rally to go to some crazy numbers that no one is putting out there but me between now and the end of the year. Okay, So there will be no correction that's going to be significant that's going to do any kind of big pull-in or change in trend. Uh, and if you want to buy this market, it is still good to buy. And you still can get a move in it, although you really should have been long stuff in here all along. And was talking about this yesterday in the trading room. What people tend to do is 
People, I, I've gotten so many emails, so many emails. I've seen so many things on the internet, so many things on television about people talking about corrections. You better sell out. You should short this. This market's going to do a correction. It's going to come in. 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 And the only one that I know out there is saying that it's not going to come in, that we're going to do new highs and we're going to continue to rally. And not only that, that we're going to go to some crazy, crazy number. It's like these people that are putting out things out into the universe to tell people that the market's going to do certain things before it does it. It's almost like people are trying to brainwash people to think that to, to, to do something, to scare them out of selling out of their longs or to make them short, okay? Don't be brainwashed by stuff that isn't even there. It's not even in the chart, okay? I'm reading what's in the chart and I'm reading it accurately. And that's how you make decisions to trade, okay? This, all of these tactics out there to, to, to make guesses of what things are going to do, I'm predicting accurately what the market's doing day after week after month after year. How am I able to do this? Because I'm reading gaps. I'm just reading the gaps. I just get up in the morning and read the gap. Boom. Right now, I'm reading the gap today. This is a sign of the market moving higher. This is a tough spot for the market to immediately go higher though over the gap. I'll tell you that this morning today, I would not look to buy this market right in here in this gap today. But we could hold nicely in the morning and then it can be bought. Or we could aggressively go over the high and kind of boot back in a little bit into the close. But the market wants to go higher and is going to go higher and could make a new high today. And if not today, probably the next week or so. Again, I get up every morning and just read what's happening. To, pre you know, to predict this kind of stuff accurately the way that I have is only one way I've been able to do it. It's because I'm reading gaps. I'm reading gaps, and I do that very accurately. And I teach a class on, on how to read gaps. And if you want to learn how to read price and charts and ETFs like the QQQs and the SPY, to know directional bias, you can take my class and learn it. You know, it's just people have to decide if they really want to get on the right path here on the right track because this all the stuff that's out there, uh, it's just like mass overload trying to convince people to do stuff with their money that isn't even correct, quite frankly. Uh, and the reality is that you got to take it upon yourself to learn what to do and make your own choices and decisions, but you got to have the right information to be able to do that accurately. So the next gap class is August next weekend, actually. It's next weekend. It's August 23rd and 24th. If you're interested in taking the class or learning more about gaps, uh, feel free to email me at melissa at the stockswish.com. Go for it if you want to buy this market. If you want to be in this market for a long term, you can. The market is going to make some crazy numbers between now and the end of the year. You heard it right here at the Stock Swoosh. I've been saying it now for a long time, and I'll just keep saying it. Don't short this market. Trend will continue. Market's going to make some crazy numbers before the end of the year that no one's going to expect but me. Uh, so next target in here for the QQQs is 100. I don't think we get there today, but that's the next real target in the QQQs. All right, everybody, have a great day. If you're interested in more information, email me at melissa at thestockswish.com. Thanks, everybody.